Hello everyone, this is Off Track Res, and I'm joined with... Off Track Sub. And this is, or would have been, the last video of Feth, and it's gonna be a bit of a reflection and an overview of uh, what we've done this past month and trying to upload a video, 28 videos, or a video every day, and it's it was a very, very interesting and fun process, and I spent a lot of time in just enjoying it overall reflecting back on it. I guess we could get in a bit of a nitty gritties, but overall, how was the, the process of uh, fifth for you, Seb? Before I get into all that, though, I just want to take a moment to give a big juicy shout out to everybody who supported us through this, to everybody who was watching this, who was keeping up with the month of content. We really appreciate y'all. And if you're new here on the channel, we got 28 Fire Emblem videos waiting for you to watch. If this is your first, well, you've got a whole catalog, baby. We got a playlist down below. So make sure you watch that and make sure you subscribe for more content and like this video if you I like it. it. I love it! <laughs> finally, finally, let's hit that intro one last time. Fire Emblem in February was where Wes decided that he was trying to release 28 videos. He told me literally like the first day of the yeah. month. I was like, bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, honestly, we hadn't done anything like that before, so I was just like, I don't know if we could do this, bro, but I was gonna tell him, stop. 28 videos later, here we are, with Feth being completed in 28, actually more than 28 videos being created in the past month. It's crazy. Now, we kind of know we could do, like, a lot more, and we're even planning to do more in the future. It kind of just, you know, inspired me to do more, inspired me to just improve the craft because like editing every day it makes you like develop like you know ways of a lot of different skills exactly a lot, a lot of different, different skills things. a lot of ways of making the job easier for yourself and also making the job like you know something that like fulfills a type of creative like passion in you and you know i'm really glad and really proud of what turned out from it i'm, I'm really proud of the product i don't know how you feel about it but i'm proud of the product yeah, I'm proud of it too. But by the end of the month, I was pushing myself to the point where I was a bit burned and I figured that it would be it'd be good for me to take a break and finish these video, the last three videos, including this one, at a time where I could just deliver. And But I'm still overall proud of everything that we've done because it was really hard to push ourselves. And to talk about the beginning of the process, I wrote down a list of all of the videos I wanted to cover, all of the characters I wanted to talk about, some concepts and ideas I wanted to talk about. So since one of the last videos we did was a Nuzlocke and Permadeath video, but that was one of the first videos I had in mind to talk about. And the trailer for Three Hopes came out. I had no idea. I was banking we'd get Fire Emblem news, but I had no idea Three Hopes was going to come out, so that became something I pivoted. It's kind of really lucky that that happened when it happened. <laughs> I, I am very, very lucky that happened. but. Being able to come up with something, not necessarily come up with something new, but on the ideas that I laid out or the scripts that I pre-written or written the day before and uh, execute on them was just a process. It really was research, essay, write, record, edit, and just go. And getting in the cycle of that was just a very interesting thing. And I'm, I'm proud of what we did. I'm proud of everyone that came a long way to watch the videos. And I'm happy that some people went to other videos, older videos throughout the month. I got a lot of comments about how this was a video that I related to. I had friends tell me the Nuzlocke and the Permadeath video was something that they really liked, and it was really interesting. What was uh, one of your favorite videos you worked on? Um, you know, my biggest issue with this project was that I remember like one of the biggest dilemmas I had with a bunch of these videos was like a lot of the art that you find online are like, they're like lewd, like they're not good. Like I, I experienced this oh, when gosh. I was just like editing the You're Marion video, and I was just like, bro like you're making points that are like like because when you recorded it they, it was like somber and it was just like emotional and like real and raw so i was just like i can't be using these like because it, it detracts Man. from the theme was it, was it that deep it, it is that deep what do you mean <laughs> it is i appreciate bro, that because i can't be putting lewd pictures when you're talking about how this like related to you in your past and like some like you know what i mean like i can't i can't do that so i, I had to it I know took a lot mean. of research to make sure that it happened i had to do it in one day too so i was just like damn this is uh this is an undertaking, but I'm proud that I could do you justice. And I hope that you thought I did you justice in that video, because you did do me honestly, justice. Honestly, I really love that recording. There's one picture where I'm like, oh no, this this they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh look at this guy and his wife. <laughs> I'm like, nah. 
<laughs> nah, I mean, don't lie, that's your waifu though. Yeah, I, I did get with Marion when I played this game. I, I cannot deny. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> A 2D waifu? No, sir. Disgusting. Could not be me. <laughs> Aren't you the same dude who's talking about how all moms matter? <laughs> I know about you, boy. That's the political answer, though, you know? Oh, no. I think all moms matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really funny how you chose to do two character analysis on two teachers. Oh, what do you mean? Isn't, isn't your favorite anime, please, teacher? Why are you wearing lingerie? Because I'm hot. Then you don't have to sleep under the futon covers. Mother, what are you doing? Of all things, Bro, I, just, I just find that interesting. <laughs> I know what you're into. Hey, what can I say, man? <laughs> I bet you romance Kawakami in Persona 5 too, didn't no, you? No, I did not get with Kawakami. Or maybe if you're into goths, you romanced Ty since he's, you know, he's, he's <laughs> kind of like Shamir, you know, you know? <laughs> Oh, bro, you can't tell me you don't feel for Tay. Look at her. Come on. <laughs> bro, it's the choker. It's the goth. It's the haircut. Come on, man. You have your things. Uh, I have mine. You're lying to me if you say you don't see that. I just I just find that funny. Interesting. Well, stop dreaming, you pervert. But like, what about you, though? What was like a challenging aspect or a fun aspect or something that you wish you could like you know change about what we did last month because moving forward we're gonna be trying to do something similar for persona um i don't know in how many months but we're we already started playing persona like i'm playing yeah. p3 right now we're, we're already starting we're already doing our research we're gonna set up more this time it's not gonna be like spontaneous like last month was we're gonna be doing research like prior as opposed to on the day of yeah. so like to try to deliver like a different type of product but like on this though what did you think on this i think we did everything we could with this video given like the time and the, meeting the goal at least i felt like i was able to do everything i wanted with each video i worked on giving the time and the goal but because it was spontaneous and i didn't pre-write a lot because i needed to meet the time i definitely feel like i gotta make this video five times more better if well not five times more better but I, there's a lot more i could have done with more time for um the fe7 video for example that video took a while to make because the amount of research I needed to do. I went through every single support in that game and I wanted to try to make a point of analysis on each and every single character. And the amount of research I had to do, and that was the largest video I worked on, so... The amount of research I had to do for each and every character to deliver on that was very, very difficult and I worried that like... I was worried that I wasn't making each point that I could have made, but I had to continue to push forward to make sure it was done as well as possible. So the research process of these videos were definitely one of the most difficult parts in working on these. I agree, yeah. It's It was sort of the same for Fire Emblem 4 and the, the Fire Emblem 4 videos, because it had been a while since I played through those games, so trying to like think back on the maps and I didn't have time to we played a map just to make that point on the video so i had to mix talking about the map and talking about the narrative of the games together to make sure that it delivers the point i was trying to come across so it, it was definitely a mixer of the research probably was the hardest process even more than editing and script writing which is kind of funny to me because to explain more about the process i had a list of everything i wanted to cover i pre with some stuff so when it came to the day, I did the research, I wrote the script, um, I recorded, edited the audio, and I recorded the video. And if there was a script that I already had finished, I'd hand it to Sebastian and he would edit and uh, put out the video. Some days he would cover me, some days I would cover him. And if there's a video that he for could focus on, such as Dominion and Samir videos, he, he had that in the bag. So it was, it was really good. It was a really good back and forth for us. And it taught us how to like learn to rely on each other when we make more videos. And yeah, because beforehand we that, weren't really writing scripts. We were just kind of like turning up and recording that. Or we do our Pokemon series together. But that'd be just like, I mean, that that's like less more of a casual thing that we did on the channel, honestly. Yeah, but these, these videos were the first time we had to hone in on focus on something. And yeah. I had a lot of scripts that I had written and some scripts I recorded that I felt very intimidated on like uploading, editing and recording. But after finishing these, I feel like I can write, I can literally release any video that I put my mind to. Same, Working on same. any video, I know the research is going to be difficult, but I feel like there's no reason for me to be intimidated to talk about like X thing I want to work on. 
which is a very uplifting thing that I could at least hold my head up high or at least if I am in a rut where I feel like I can't do something I could look back on these videos that we both work on and feel like no I feel like anything I set my mind to that any type of video I want to make creatively I can especially personally too because one addendum that I do have I'm sorry I know you want to say a point no you're good one addendum I do have is that there are a lot of videos where I feel like I could have gotten more vulnerable about certain topics that I, uh, ah, I sort of I skirted you, around. I feel you, I feel you. And I, I definitely think that if I was able to like deliver that emotionally about what this series means to me or what this character or what this mechanic or what this brings to the table, I, I think it would have made a better video. I think we got to get over that you know? fear of like opening up and shit, you know? Yeah, it is, it is definitely hard to open up on the internet. You know, too, like when writing these scripts, you know? Yeah, but it's, um, it's still a learning process and at least tells me the, it's something I could do in the future. True. Another reason why I had a bit of a hard time with this project is that I had only experienced Fire Emblem Three Houses. And reluctantly at that, because like, I remember I didn't even want to play it. Like he was like, I'll let you borrow my Switch. Like, please. I was like, bro, I don't know about this anime, whatever. <laughs> by, by that I mean, you have to play this game. You have to play this game. Come on, bro. How long we know each other? You really going to pull a gun out on me over a game? <laughs> bro, bro, please. Why are you cocking the fucking gun, bro? Play the motherfucking game, see bass. <laughs> and I'm glad I listened, but I couldn't really offer much more outside of what I knew about Three Houses. So I just decided to focus on that whenever I had to deliver something. Because I was just like, there were points that I wanted to make about the game that I figured I would never really have a chance to make about the game. Because, you know, we weren't really doing that on the channel before. We were really just covering like anime stuff, movie stuff, and like Ruby stuff. So, you know, we weren't really doing like, you know, these types of games. So I didn't think I would get to make videos on this. But there were a lot of characters that I really liked and, and things that I didn't really get to talk about. Like in terms of like the Manuela video, like one addendum that I wanted to make to that video is that I didn't talk about how weird it is like an anime. How like they be making like women who are like what in their 30s or like anybody who's past their 20s like seemingly like feel like they're like so old and i'm just like that's such a weird trope i really don't like it because i'm just like really that in is your definitely 30s? an addendum i had you know what i mean like like she's an old lady i, I know like, bro, exactly what, what you mean. <laughs> like it's so weird that was definitely one video i had in mind on the table like talking about the women in, in fire emblem or like sexism in three houses because i think it really works as a world building aspect but in some ways it's it's finally has a lot of weird ideas about women and it's in some ways it's really progressive and interesting like how a character like Edelgard can be emperor or how Catherine and Samir both women that don't really fit into the sphere of what a woman in the fallen society is kind of pushed to do get to be mentors for people like Ingrid and Leone while on the other side of the spectrum there are a lot of women who do get to basically screwed over by fallen by being forced into a lot of marriages and I think that's kind of that dichotomy of women who have some type of freedom and women that are facing sexism or women that are still facing sexism with their freedoms. It's it's kind of interesting. It's really cool. But I also feel like some of it could be undercut by a lot of the tropes some of the women get because of the rifleism of characters, of course. I was going to say, like, at the end of the process, um, I feel like we're like better. Uh, at this than we were before it like not like we're oh my god we're so good at this youtube thing but it's just like where we were at before this month is like a completely different like level than than where Place. we're at right yes. now because like i remember like i was at work the other day like the day that i made the uh persona video or i guess like the talking about the mcs that was a phenomenal video by the way the self the self insert video it was it was great i appreciate you bro i appreciate you i remember like we've been talking about this for so many years but we've never really like just like made anything on it, put it or like up. put it into words yeah. clearly because like it's it bothers us so much like we analyze that like we, we usually analyze characters that we like through the lens of like how much of a self-insert or not that they are like how much of their own person that they're allowed to be is like what determines whether or not we like them that's why we like we we like flawed characters right so just like yes me being at work that day and just like thinking out how i was going to structure the video like in my head I structured it like a, we would write a script and just did it like that. So like it was such an easy so, like process for me. I just got home and I sat there and I just all I had to do was just remember what I sh had like structured in my head at work and record that. And it just like felt like, damn, I could have never done that before and came out with something coherent. Because like after that, I just edited it and I was ready to like finish it like by the next day. I was just like, damn, 
Like we really are at that level. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad that we could like now be spontaneous in that way to make every video. I, I definitely feel that I had to do this project and because I was thinking in the back of my mind, what if I just started with one video? But I don't think the pressure to complete this in go as far as possible, make as many videos as possible, help me keep growing. But I also made me conscious that I want to make sure each video I do make is is good. Like the War is Ham video, for example. Although that was much more of a funny video to help me bear down from the amount of research I had to do for the Five Moon Seven videos, I still made sure that like let me enjoy this process and still be thoughtful in how I'm editing it. So it's uh, yeah, I definitely think we were a step above where we were before we started making videos. It was a fun challenge, bro. I'm glad that you like encourage us to go on it i'm glad you stuck with me I, I think i don't think i could have done this without you and i'm glad we were able to do everything that we did this is definitely a, a good challenge and I, I do think it was very successful for us i'm grateful for the people that stuck around i'm very very sorry the people that waited for, for the last few videos but they're, going, <laughs> they're gonna be here i was sorry I, I was i was very burned but i was still just proud of what we've done. I want to continue and go forward with this energy for videos you will make into the future. And I, I don't want to, I am worried that we may be alienating people by choosing the people on Fire Emblem, but moving on to other things, but it's... I mean, it's not like we're going to stop making Fire Emblem videos. Yeah. We're just like... It's not like we're going to stop. Like when You got your DLCs out, that you're going to do, you know? We're going to be here. Those, those extra oh, videos yeah, that DLCs. you forgot to make that you're going to make now. Because like we had some extra things that went over 28 that we didn't get to make. But they required more research. So it's going to take some time to get those. Yes. But, you know, we're going to make the, more Fire Emblem stuff. But we're also going to like go back to making all the things that we, you know, decided to create this channel to make too. You know, it's just like pop culture stuff, stuff that we like. Like the Batman stuff that we've been making. I wanted to make something about fatherhood with Superman, the Superman show. We're going to do a DC month. I can't wait but for that. I feel like we're going to have to push the DC month back because I kind of want to do Persona more. You know? <laughs> also, that's the wave I'm mean. on. I know what you mean. I will say if you're here for family content, one video I have in mind that I wanted to do this month, but I felt like the amount of research I wanted to do wouldn't it be enough time for me to deliver on what I want the video to be? Would be a Three Houses versus Genealogy video. Mostly because that's a heavy title, but it's mostly comparing and contrasting the games and how Three Houses takes from Genealogy of a Holy War and how Genealogy, and how Genealogy of a Holy War inspired Three Houses and what both of those games are trying to achieve. I feel like that's one video I want, really, really want to make, but it's uh, it, it wouldn't really fit within the time frame of this month yeah. for everything I have to do to make it be. You know how coincidental our friendship is? It's just like that we're both two Haitian kids that like grew up in this state and went to the same school and just so happened to be like anime nerds at the same time when it wasn't I, cool I'm, to be I was thinking nerds. about that. I was just that. like, damn. It's so crazy like how like similar our backgrounds are. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah, or like, I, I was thinking about that the other day. Like it would suck if I didn't have someone that I could relate to to this extent. Facts, that, like, facts. Twin Reaper? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> you were my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Nigga, I don't know you though. I... We're gonna enjoy the process for this month. It's kind of like right, our off right. time, just creating things that we like for a little bit. Not like to just like, you know, take away the stress of making a video every day bro what i got like an oh, eight yes, hour job was... now bro like i i ain't got the time it did starting to feel like a job there was there was a, in the beginning of it from i think the only time i started to slow down before i picked it back up and slow down again i think for a straight maybe 19 or 20 days I was just video after video every day was the next video 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 and it was it was insane but it was fun though it was it was fun it was a great process and i appreciate everyone who's been here along the way anyone everyone thank you for subscribing and following us throughout this process thank you and, for uh, watching we hope we can continue to deliver yeah thank you for supporting us we really really appreciate it and hopefully moving forward you can you know let us know how you feel about the content like just comment down below we're gonna be making more stuff if you have any ideas about things you want us to cover just let us know we're always checking the comments. Thank you for watching. I've been Off Track Sub. It's been Off Track West, and uh, I hope you have a good one. <laughs>